is by, by far the busiest day of the year. It's almost doubled in terms of revenue if you want to go for a per brunch basis. It's big business for local restaurants and a staple in Toronto. Across the city, places like Mildred's Temple have been planning weeks in advance for Mother's Day brunch. And if you happen to show up last minute hoping for a table, well... Oh, so the, the wait time right now for a table of two on average is about an hour and a half. For a table of four, an hour 45 to two hours probably. But that doesn't deter the determined. We got here at 9 a.m. There was 100 people in line. They put their name in and then we arrived at 11. My husband woke up and came early to make a reservation and then came home and woke me up. The National Retail Federation estimates Mother's Day spending will total a record $25 billion in the U.S. this year. Jewelry comes in as the largest expenditure at more than $5 billion, while folks are expected to spend about $4.5 billion on special outings. So after brunch, how about some baseball? Mother's Day also happened to fall on a game day for the Jays. They faced the White Sox this afternoon where a special someone got to throw the first pitch. Yes, that's Marcus Stroman's mom who was also treated to a bouquet of flowers and an adorable start to the game. Elsewhere in the city, more nods to mom. The Raptors tweeted a photo of their mascot wearing a Love You Mom t-shirt saying we need all the Raptors fans, moms and grandmas out there to cheer us on. And the Leafs also showing some love on Instagram, a whole album of players with their number one ladies. <laughs> These thoughtful gestures, it seems, always score points with moms. So though it's a big spending day, when we asked mom what they truly wanted, the answer was always simple. What makes me most happy on Mother's Day is kindness. Good behavior. <laughs> just be with my kids and, and I just want to watch them happy. Yeah. And um, that's it. But a little reminder about why she deserves the best doesn't hurt either. I want to say that she's really nice and she's very pretty and I love her a lot. In Liberty Village, Erica Natividad, City News.